السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سعید علی مردان ادمی ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ان دس لیکچر وی ول لرن سم بیسکس اباؤٹ پولر کوارڈینیٹس اینڈ پولر انٹیگرل اینڈ دین وی ول لرن کوسچن نمبر 14 فرام تھامس کیلکوس 12 ٹریڈیشن بک ویئر وی ہیو ٹو لرن ہاؤ وی کین کنورٹ اے کارٹیزین انٹیگرل انٹو اے پولر انٹیگرل ناؤ فرسٹ آف آل واٹ از اے پولر کوارڈینیٹ سسٹم اے پولر کوارڈینیٹ سسٹم از اے سسٹم وچ کین بی یوزڈ ٹو لوکیٹ اے پوائنٹ ان ٹو ڈائمنشن پلین اے پوائنٹ ان اے پولر کوارڈینیٹ سسٹم از ریپرزنٹڈ بائی ار این تھیٹا ویئر ار از اے ڈسٹنس اف دا پوائنٹ فرام دا اوریجن and theta is the angle measured counterclockwise direction from positive x axis here in this diagram if p is a point in two dimension space then this straight line distance is the distance of the point from the origin and it is the value of r and if you measure the angle of this point in counterclockwise direction if you measure angle of this point with in counterclockwise direction with positive x axis then it will provide us the value of theta next these are the transformation equations If we have to move from Cartesian coordinate system into polar coordinate system, then we have the transformation equations as x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. And for the reverse process, we have r square is equal to x square plus y square and theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x. In the next step, we will learn what a polar coordinate looks like. On the left hand side, it is given that double integral over the region r f of r of theta dA. This is the general form of a polar coordinate. In this polar coordinate, our integrate is in the form of a function of r and theta. And dA is a small area element of the region. Please note that in Cartesian system, we can use dA as dx dy or dy dx. But in polar coordinates, we will always use dA as r dr d theta. So, in order to calculate this integral, we have to replace dA with r dr d theta. Since r is our inner variable, so the limits of r may be constant, may be variable. And since theta is our outer variable, so limits of theta are always in the form of constant numbers. Here, we will calculate the value of theta in, in the form of angles in radian measure. Now, in order to calculate limits of r, we will use arrow technique. We will pass an arrow through our region. The boundary through which these arrows enter the region will give you the lower limit of R and the boundary through which this arrow exit will give you the upper limit of R. Similarly, if we have to calculate the limits of theta, we will calculate the values of theta in the counterclockwise direction. From here in the diagram, you can see this is our starting point in counterclockwise direction for our region and this is our ending point in counterclockwise direction for our region. So the angle through which our region starts will give you the lower limit of theta in counterclockwise direction and the ending angle of our region in counterclockwise direction will give you the upper limit of theta. So here the values of here the limits of theta are alpha to beta. Next we will learn how we can change this Cartesian integral into polar integral. This question is question number 14 from exercise 15.4 Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. In order to convert this Cartesian integral into an equivalent polar integral, first of all, we will sketch our region. In order to sketch the region, we need some boundaries and these boundaries are obtained from the limiting values of the variable. So the limits of y are 0 and x y equal to 0 is equation of x-axis and y is equal to x is equation of line passing through the points where the value of x and y is same like 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. x equal to 0, x equal to 0 is equation of y-axis, x equal to 2 is equation of vertical line. In the next step, we will plot these lines. So we have x-axis, y-axis. Since x-axis and y-axis is involved in my boundaries, so I have make them dark. Next, I will mark the point 2, 2 along x-axis. So, from here, we have our region. This is, a, this is a vertical line, which passes to the point x equal to 2. This is the line where the value of x and y is same, which is x equal to y. So, their point of intersection is here, 2, 2. So, after plotting the region, we will sketch our region of integration. This is our region of integration. So after highlighting our region of integration, we will calculate limits of R. In order to calculate limits of R, we will pass an arrow through this region starting from origin. Now, since your 
origin is included in your region so the load limit of r is always zero and the exiting boundary is x equal to 2 here the exiting boundary is x equal to 2 and the distance of each point of the boundary varies as the angle changes in counterclockwise direction so the upper limit of r is variable in this case for this purpose we will polarize the equation x equal to 2 for the exiting boundary we know that the value of x is r cos theta so we have r cos theta equal to 2 dividing both sides with cos theta we have r is equal to our cos theta and here is secant theta actually this is not sine this is secant in the next step so one over cos is secant so the upper limit of r is 2 secant theta next in order to calculate limits of theta you can see in this region our angle start from 0 along x axis and our region ends at the line x equal to y so our starting angle or the low limit of theta is 0 and for upper limit we can calculate the angle of this line with origin and we can also calculate the limits of theta by using this formula theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x since the equation of x axis is y equal to 0. If we substitute y equal to 0 in this formula, so we have theta is equal to tan inverse of 0 over x. We get tan inverse of 0 and tan inverse of 0 is 0. So the load limit of theta is also 0 through this formula. For upper limit, we will use this equation x is equal to y in this above formula theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x. So we put y is equal to x, we have x over x x over x is 1 so we have theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 which is equal to pi by 4 so limits of theta are 0 to pi by 4 next we will transform this integral into polar integral so for this purpose we will replace y with r sin theta and da with dr dy dx with r dr d theta and these are the limits 0 to 2 secant theta 0 to pi by 4 with respect to r sin theta is constant we can take it outside and r multiplied by r is r square. Now the integration of r square is r cube over 3 for the given limits. In the next step, we will apply the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. 2 cube is 8. So we can take 2 cube over 3 outside. So we have sine theta into secant, th secant cube theta. In the next step, we can break secant cube as secant square into secant. And 1 secant is equal to 1 over cos theta. So we have sine theta over cos theta into secant square. Now sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan theta. So in the next step, we can write it as tan theta into secant square theta. Now, since the derivative of tan theta is available as a multiplier here, so we can integrate it as tan square over 2 for the limit 0 to pi by 4. In the next step, applying the limits, upper limit minus lower limit, we have 4 by 3 into 1 minus 0. This 4 here is available when we cancel out 8 with 2. So our final answer is 4 over 3. I hope you understand this question. Please like, subscribe and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.